13 Loves Pets, sponsored by My Auto Import Center. A lost dog is finally home after weeks of being out in the freezing cold temperatures. The owners were beginning to lose hope when they finally got the message they were hoping for. 13 on your side's Leona Dunn has the story. Milo's story starts on January 8th when he was taken out to a field to be trained. He's a hunting dog and one of his owners, Nate Oswald, was training him to resist his love of chasing animals. But then... And he pushed a bunny up and went after the bunny and he was gone. After more than half an hour of searching, Nate went home to get his family so they could look together. Milo responds really, really well to my daughter. After hours of searching, Alyssa went home, made a Facebook post, and received hundreds of shares in multiple sightings. Milo even spent the night inside a neighbor's home, and before he had a chance to look on social media, let him out of the house. So he called me and he was like, I, it didn't feel right. He's like, I feel so horrible. And I, I kind of laughed because I was like, he's so smart. <laughs> he got a good night's sleep. <laughs> so. But Alyssa's laughter stopped after the messages stopped coming in. The internet was silent for two weeks and winter weather was extreme with temperatures below zero. But then this past Sunday, good news. And um, Lindsay from Lost Paws LLC called and said that Claire with the Kent County Animal Shelter, um, she had found Milo. Claire and her partner gave all the credit yeah, to the community. Like, like people had um, probably pinpointed where he was and uh, were able to call dispatch. And we were able to find where he was, but he couldn't get out. And we couldn't just go climbing in because there right. would be no way for us to get out. Yeah. Milo was down 10 feet deep in a silo surrounded by smooth walls. Animal control officers believe he was there for a few days since they couldn't find his tracks in the fresh snow. Milo had traveled nearly 20 miles over 43 days. All you feel is his bones. So he is extremely, extremely thin. Um, it, it's sad, but he's so healthy and he has no broken <laughs> bones. Um, he wasn't cut. There's no lacerations, nothing. It's just miraculous that he didn't get hurt. As for now, Alyssa says she's sure Milo is okay with giving hunting a break and being a couch potato. Leona Dunn, 13, on your side.